But it be like people, look at my lip, swollen, man. Gums too. Playing with my dog yesterday. He jumped up and he hit me right here with his nose, like bumped me. And you don't know how strong they are. And swole my gums up <clears throat> and my lip. Breakfast in the morning. Just like I said. Gotta have that breakfast. Got me a cliff bar in here with it. 11 grams of protein. Each one of these got protein in it. Now that's cool too. It's the boost of the day. Being that it's morning. <sighs> yep. Bottle water. Thank God for my microwave. I'm happy for my microwave. It's helping and it's doing what it's supposed to do. Yeah. My job called me, bugging me. They tried to get me to take off yesterday, but when my driver leader gave me the load plan, I just got up and I was going to start driving at night basically but the problem was for me to be up driving at night everything would need to be open I had to get this trailer washed out so if I'm going to wash out a trailer ain't no trailer washouts in my area open and I told him that you know so it's oh no I'm gonna need you to go da -da -da -da. all right no biggie but knowing me, I'm like, man, it's too late to be trying to find anywhere. If I leave this spot, I wouldn't have it trying to come back to it. So I waited. You know, my 10 hours was up. So I called again. I got the supervisor then uh, next. And when I explained to her everything, how it was going, and how they, uh, planner or whoever he was was trying to just get me to go out and do it because this is the whole game right here now I couldn't find no uh excuse me I'm fixing my curtains and shit uh I couldn't find no trailer washout at 7 8 o'clock at night in my area that was open so he tells me, well, I found you one. You know, he said it's 75 miles away. Which was a lie. Well, no, it wasn't a lie, but he didn't tell me a whole lot. So, it was 124 miles one way. Now, what I gotta do for this, uh, to get this load moving, I have to swap the trailer, right? and get another one. But the thing is, to swap the trailer, it gotta be washed out. It was the nastiest load ever. If y'all been looking at my posts and looking at what I was talking about, you know, the shit need to be washed out. So, um, uh, so I'm telling him about that. So he wanted me to drive. Basically, uh, 121 miles right 121 miles one way 121 miles back right fixing the shirt about to get ready to roll out after I eat so my thing was excuse me again You want me to go do 300 and something miles, basically, close to 400, to swap a trailer, uh, just to get the trailer washed out. Drive 121 back, okay? Yeah, it's nighttime, but he didn't account for traffic. 
None of that. So basically, I'm gonna be out about three. What three? It was like almost 400 miles, right? But not four. Yeah, almost 400 miles. It was 342 miles altogether. So you figure that's about four or five hours, depending on traffic and the speed that I'm driving at, which is 65, but ain't a lot. So, um, he, uh, I tried to talk to him and said, can you just do this tomorrow? No, nope, it got to be done today. So, when I called the lady and I explained, hit their supervisor at night, when I explained it to her, I explained it to her, she was like, no, don't do that. He said, just stay, she said, stay there overnight. In the morning, you just get ready and get up and do what you got to do. Bam. So... I'm laid out. I'm chilling. They called me again last night. Uh, we want to know what's your ETA. Da, 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 da. I told him when he called me. First, he sent me a message. No, he called me, and uh, I told him, you know, it don't make sense to rush out and do this, you know, because I'm gonna be late anyway. If I would have took off the way they wanted me to do, I would have wasted more hours trying to swap a trailer than I would trying to get down to my delivery. So, it all worked out in my favor because I wasn't finna let them play me. That's the thing in this game. You cannot let them play because they will. They ain't in them seats. Yeah, they've been drivers before, but you should know better than what you're trying to get me to do. So, I went ahead and uh, got it done, man. I talked to the lady. You know what I mean? She told me not to do it when he... Um, called me again and I explained everything to him like it's just not it's not doable the way I want to do it is not doable so then he sent me a message okay we understand that you got these many hours left and uh we're gonna try to find a a, um, a trailer wash in your area so I hit him again I said well I tell you what you call and talk to your graveyard supervisor because she told me to do what I'm doing. I said, it makes no sense for me to go out here and run this thing this late, knowing it's going to be even later, and it's like five miles, 500 miles to my, about 500 miles to refuel. And I got to do that twice before I get to my delivery. So I'm like, you're going to take fuel away from that. So I'm going to have to shut down before that. Which means I got to get emergency fuel. I'm not doing that. I'm going to do it the way I'm doing it because y'all in that office and y'all don't care. So I did it my way. I don't know what it is, but it seems like the ladies in this company got more compassion for us than the men do. So I'm like, I don't know. And I told her that. You know, these men in y'all uh, y'all company... And no, you got to do it. You no, know, I don't got to do nothing. Just because you want it done, because you get a little uh, uh, kick, I don't care about that. You never going to throw me out and have me doing all of this, and you just sitting in that office. I don't care what you've done before that. I'm in this seat, and I'm not going to be out here messing up my time for y'all. Yeah, y'all need the low rent. I need the money, but at the same time, I'm not going to let y'all work me like that. If I'd have did that, I would have had to take my 30-minute break before I even got to my fuel up. And that's out of the question. Totally out of the question. So, I didn't do it till now. And I'm about to get ready to go. Got my eat my oatmeal heated up. I'm about to eat that. You know, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? See? Good tasting oatmeal. You know what I'm saying? That's it. If y'all haven't had the Black Bear oatmeal, check it out. It's bomb. It's right up there with the Quaker. They both protein though, so I'm I'm big on protein and health, so I'm getting back to where I, I need to be. As you can see, I still got a little size. I lost a little bit. Well, not a little bit. I lost the song. But, um, yeah, man. I'm out here doing this today, man. 
Yeah, it's 10 minutes going on, man. It's just... This is what I mean by do what you gotta do. If I would've did it their way, I would've been all messed up. By doing it this way, I'm in tune with everything I gotta do. Simple. I'm in tune with everything. Everything I gotta do is right in perspective. Don't let nobody try to have you do something that don't fit with what you got going. Now, if you already made agreements to get that done and do whatever it is, that's on you. You got to do it. Because your word is everything. But I never gave my word and said I was going to jump out there like that. Because I told them up front, man, this not going to work. And they didn't care about that. And neither did I. As Sandra would say, you can kiss a duck ass. Because I wasn't finna do it. But, uh, enough of that. That's what it is. So, I'm heading up to uh, Iowa with this load. We'll go grab the load in Iowa. Go down there, El Paso, Texas, and drop it off. It's going to send me straight through Kansas City. Well, Kansas, basically. I'm going straight through Kansas all the way. Two fuel ups in Kansas. After that second one. I'll be in uh, El Paso. We're doing a 12-hour run today, both days. We're going to run it all the way down. We're going to knock this hoe out. So that's what it is. I'm going to hit y'all up again when I got it all set. I'm going to hit you up and show you when I get the trailer washed out. When I get to my, 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 uh, my load up, it's a preloaded trailer. I just got to drop my empty pick up that one and keep pushing so we finna make this thing run all right y'all stay up Ooh, that sun is bright but it's cold outside yeah spent a little time up here man it was cool man Yep. Now it's time to roll. That's one thing about trucking. You be in some of the places you thought you'd never be at. And there's so much to go see. But over here, it ain't. But you're going to be in some places where you can see a whole lot of stuff. All right, y'all. Let me get up off this bad boy. Do my thing. Peace. God bless everybody. Do what you got to do for the day. Get everything done the way you need to have it done. Don't take no other advice if it don't benefit you. Uh, what else? Stay blessed. Stay happy. Stay successful. And if you can't be successful, keep working at working on it until you get there. <laughs> God bless everybody. May everyone have a blessed day. I'm gone. Signing off.